So welcome guys. Now we're going to talk about beams, okay? So the idea behind the chapter of beams is to get most of the times the shear force and the bending moment. So we are we want to uh, draw the diagrams for each one of these entities or parameters. These are mechanical important param uh, important um, mechanical parameters, okay? So one of them is the shear force and the other thing is the bending moment. So this is what we're gonna do here. First of all, let's just do our two equilibrium uh, analysis, okay? Now, for this, for this part, we just take, uh, we just gonna take care about the general body. Our body is simply a beam, okay? And we're gonna put here its reactions. This one is due to the pin support. This one is because of the roller. So we have a normal there. And here we see a moment or a couple. It has 40 kilonewtons, okay? And here we have a force, external force, point force, which is equals to 30 kilonewtons, okay? Uh, let me just put the units there. But it's, I mean, I'm just putting the same thing that it's in the drawing, but at least to have some sort of uh, idea. So this is four meters, then it's three meters, and then it's three meters. This thing is, this thing is important for the drawing, okay? So we need to take that into account. Now, let's just start with this. So let's just do X. Well, some, most of the times in this type of examples, X is just a non-relevant, so we're gonna put it like that. And then we're gonna put Y. So for Y, we will see that AY is going up plus NE, it's going up. And then I have a 30 going down, which I'm gonna put in the positive in the right hand, so it's gonna be positive, okay? So one more thing, which is a moment regarding, let's just put A, so moment regarding A, we will have what? We will have uh, well, the pits producing force, uh, moment, sorry, so 30 times distance, distance is four. And now I need to decide a sign, which is a minus. This thing is a minus. Now, there's another 40 over there, so minus 40, okay, simply as that. And there's the NE plus the NE going up, okay? How do you know it's plus? Well, because it's gonna produce a moment regarding in this sense. Okay, now multiply by 10. So 10 and this thing should be equal to zero. Now, if I do some math over here, I can do it. So this thing is one, this thing is four, this thing is three, therefore a minus 12, minus four, which is a plus 16 in the other way around. So NE equals to 16 kilonewtons. Therefore, that means that AY needs to be, maybe you see it, but it's 16 minus 30 positive. Therefore, it's going to be a 14. Okay, so plus 14 kilonewtons. Okay, so I have that information. It's basic stuff, but it's the most important stuff when you're beginning to see B and M diagrams okay if you don't do this stuff it's gonna be impossible to solve it later at least to check it later okay so now we're going to the creepy part of this topic which is to know how many sections should we put over here so let me just put it i need to put one before and after a disturbance this thing over here is a disturbance therefore i need to put one before well it, this is actually trivial because i don't have beam over here so let's just put one over there now I'm gonna, I need to put one before and after this PV. Well, okay, so that's the one before and then one later. Okay, that's after this PV. I need to put one before already done and one after this. So I have three sections, so one and two and three. So the more, sex, the more sections you have, the more long problems you're gonna have and the more uh, probability of making a mistake there is. But nonetheless, this is what we have so far, okay? So what I'm going to do here is just to be a little bit like that because I don't need too much of detail there. So I'm just making myself a little bit of a uh, feel and let's start with this. So what are we done, what are we going to see over here is just, whoops, this one. Mm. Oh, I'm having a lag over here. So let me just put it like this. And uh, so let's go again with this, okay? So mm, let's go with this one. Yeah, now I have fixed some, some things that I have over there. 
Fine, let's just go with section one. Okay, let's just go with section one. Why would I have for one? For one, I will see this. So I have this piece of the bar over there, like a chunk of the bar. I already know how much is this stuff. This thing is 14 going up and I don't see anything else because I am right here, right here. I'm at section one. It goes from A to B. This point is O, this point, this force is B, this moment is a uh, bending moment, and that's it, that's the only thing that I have. Okay, so let's just do, go ahead and do it. So for Y, I will have that, I have a 14 going up, the minus B going down, therefore B equals to 14. I think I'm not missing anything. When I go from, now let's see about the limits, from zero, okay, so X equals to zero, when I'm going to x equals to four, okay? So this is not relevant in this case because b is just equals to 14, therefore from zero to four, it doesn't change, it's just 14. But maybe later for some other stuff, it's gonna be important to know that. Okay, so let's just put this one over here and this is the 14. Got it. Let's just go with the moment regarding O equals to zero. So I'm gonna be myself uh, easy and you will see that this M, I always need to put that M over there. The Then 14 times, okay, so sorry about this one. This always measures X, so X, and it's gonna be a minus regarding O, so it's a minus, so this one should be equal to zero. Therefore, M equals to 14 X. When I go from X equals to zero, till x equals to four. Now this is relevant, okay? Now I need to take that into account. Maybe you see that when this thing is zero, when I evaluate or calculate, compute this m regarding zero, this is gonna give me a big freaking zero. And when I put it regarding uh, the value of four, so this thing is gonna be 16, 156, okay? So it's just like this, up all this way up. It's so you have a ramp up in the bending moment. And this is 56, okay? So this is what we have so far. Good, let's just go with section two. Okay, so section two, I'm gonna make myself a little bit more space over there. So section two, right here. So section, oops, section two. I don't know why it moves sometimes. It's just like flickers and move or whatever. Okay, so section two, what I will see in this section two is again, a chunk of the bar. Again, this measures X. Again, this is the point O, this is the shear force B, this is the bending moment M. And then I still see the 14 going up, which is a pin support reaction in the vertical sense and direction. And then, and then I will see, maybe you see that I now see these 30 kilonewtons going down and separated from the left tip of the beam by four meters, okay? It's just simply that. Here is my section two, okay? Let's just go with Y. So for the Y part, I will have 14 going up, minus 30 going down, minus B, and this equals to zero. Therefore, B um, is gonna be equal to a 16, minus 16, okay? I think it's a minus 16. When this thing goes from X equals to something and to X equals to some other stuff. Now for this first part, I'm going from four till seven. Hopefully you see that I'm going from four till seven because I started here at four and then I will whoops, whoop, walk to my right to seven, okay? Those are the limits of this function minus 16. I know it doesn't sound like a function, but it actually is a function. So I'm leaving down here, okay? And this is the other limit, this is seven meters. So I'm putting it over here and this is my 17, I'm sorry, minus 16, okay? So I'm gonna put it over here, minus 16. Those are the limits over there. Now moment regarding O equals to zero. When I do that, I will have what? Let's just see what I will have. Well, let's just put the M, which is the easy part. Let's just put the minus 14 X, another easy part. And now this 30, well, 30 times something, okay? Times how much? Well, hopefully you see that this space is how much I need to walk from here from all till I found this 30. So I can do this. Maybe I can walk all to my left X and then I can go back a little bit 
is the same thing that I'm writing over here. I can go all to my left X and then I can go back a little bit, which is four. And then I have the distance that I actually walked, okay? So this distance over here from here to there is actually X minus four. Well, there is something else to put over here. Yeah, well, the sign, okay? So this thing is gonna be a positive because it's trying to do whoops like that in the uh, regarding O, okay? So I have regarding that point O, I have that equation, therefore M equals to, I'm just trying to rearrange something, 14X and then minus 30X minus four. When I go from X equals to four till two, uh, for uh, to a, x equals to seven, good, I think. Therefore, let's just evaluate when this thing is four. Okay, when the x is four, let me just see how much is this one. Well, you will see what I have left the parentheses. If I have if I put out the parentheses and I develop my algebra, it's a good thing, but also if I keep the parentheses, I can find zeros faster. Therefore, maybe you will see that this thing is actually zero when I compute this guy x equals to four. So this term is equal to zero and this other term is actually 56, which is what I got at the end of the first section. Now let's just see what about seven. So if I put a seven, I will see a three over here. Okay, so I, three, I, I see a three over here. So I'm gonna, ha I'm gonna have a 14 times seven, okay, and minus 30 times three. Okay, hopefully you see that. Uh, yeah, because I'm doing seven minus four, which is a three and this, this is just, computation okay since i don't have a calculator i'm i'm going to take my time with doing this this is seven two seven and minus 90 okay so this is going to be 49 times two which is equals to 98 okay so minus 90 equals to an 80 if something is wrong here you can tell me in the comments and also, something else is going to be wrong something else is going to be really really wrong so hopefully i'm not doing this uh, badly, okay? So I think I had that. So it's gonna be a 98 minus 90. I think I'm doing it right. I need to recheck it again, but this is what you need to do also. When you're doing these computations, try to do as best as possible because you will get to the end, you won't have what you need and you will, you will be all scared, okay? So try to keep a a sense of what you're doing. So I'm gonna do it again. So this is a seven, yes, it's seven. I'm not putting something really stupid over here. This is a plus and this is a minus. So I think I'm right. Let's just go with the flow, okay? So that's it. Now let's just put over here, I, I can go, yeah, I think I can go to my right, but I don't wanna do it. I wanna do it over here. So I'm gonna put section three over here. So let's just, I wanna keep everything right in this small square okay so three let's just put three with another color okay so we don't know about those three section three this is what maybe you will see the chunk okay so i see the chunk i still see the 14 i see the 30 but now i also see the couple and the couple here it's 40 okay so i see that 40 over there <clears throat> and yeah this is rightly correct over there there so I, for, I see a, an O, the shear force, the bending moment, and I think I have it, okay? So let's just go ahead and do it. So Y, for the Y part, I have 14 going up, minus 30 going down, and minus B equals to zero. Yeah, I'm right, yeah, I'm right. So B equals to, in this case, it's gonna be minus 16, oops, minus 16 again, so kilonewtons. When I go from x equals to seven till L x equals to 10. So it really doesn't matter for this calculation because it's just minus 16. So this means that I go all the way till the end of the beam as with a shear force of minus 16 kilonewton meter, okay? And therefore there comes the normal, which is 16 and pushes me up till I get to zero. So that means I have done things in the right way because I actually started at zero, okay? Zero shear force. Then it comes immediately, the, this A, Y, pushes me up 
to 14. Then I go all 14, 14, 14. Then comes an external force, 30, pushes me down 30. This is the gap of the 30. It's actually 30 kilonewtons. So pushes me down till minus 16. So I go all minus 16, minus 16, minus 16 till I get to this roller and the roller pushes me up till zero. So that thing, I have done things in the right way regarding the shear force. This is the answer for the shear force. This is what actually happening inside the beam because of these external or mechanical conditions put it into the beam, okay? So, right. Now, let's just go with a moment. Now, moment regarding, I'm gonna make myself a little bit of room. So, moment regarding uh, O. O equals to zero. So what I will put over this is 14x, and this is B a minus, okay? Don't forget about it because otherwise we'll be wrong. Now, what about the M? So the M, yeah, you're sure. This one is a sure bet, okay? Uh, what about 30? Well, so 30 times the distance. Well, how much is this distance? Well, I think I remember that the whole deal was X. I didn't put it, but the whole deal was X. So from here to there, there's four. So I still just need to walk X minus four. I still can walk all the way to the left. That, that is an X. And then I can go back a four. So X minus four, okay, X minus four. And then this thing should be a plus because it's actually doing this, whoops, actually doing that. Right, what about the 40? Well, the 40, as I can see, regarding this little arrow over here, is trying to do it negatively, so minus 40, okay? And then, now it's equals to zero. Let's just try to compute that when you go from x equals to seven till x equals to 10. Okay, so if you do that, so if you do that, oh, let me just make some room over here. Yeah, I think I'm right. I think I'm right. Let's just go see what happens. So if I put an M over there when I, no, 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 no. First, let me just put M in explicit form because otherwise I make a mess of this and it's not the idea. Oh, okay, so yeah. Now, uh, M, I'm gonna put all the things that are not M into the right side. So M equals to 14X, then minus 30, X minus four, okay, and the plus 40. Now let's announce I can compute it. So what about when this thing is, when X equals to seven, what, what happens over here? Well, I don't know if you remember, but I, we have already done this and it was an eight. Let's just show that that thing is correct. So eight, okay, plus 40, this thing is equal to 48. Okay, so I have a 48 over there. That means that here, oh, I didn't put it, right? Oh, what an idiot. I didn't put this part. So I'm gonna put all the, all the parts, uh, for the bending moment later, okay? So I missed this part, I haven't put all this part, and then I need to put the six and three. So let's just go to compute what about happens at 10. So let's see if I'm right or wrong. So if I put a 10 over here, this thing is a six, okay? This is a minus four, oh, let's just put it over. So minus one, 14 times 10 equals to a minus 40. This is this guy over here, um, but, but it's a plus, okay? Because this guy is a plus. Now, what about this? Well, it's 10 minus four, 10 minus four is a six. So it means that it's a minus uh, 180, okay? Now a plus 40. So if you do the math, this thing should be equal to zero. And it's a good thing because I will end up at zero. And that means that this thing is in equilibrium. Okay, so now my work is just to work it out as, as it is. Now from here, guys, from here, look at this equation. This equation was 14x, okay, 14x minus 30x. So this, the minus is bigger than the 14. So you will get with a minus 16x or something like that. That, that I, don't, I don't need all that, but I need to put that this thing is actually a, a negative, okay? So it's a negative slope straight line. That's what it is for in this section. So I'm here at 56, okay? And I will end up at eight going down. So whoops, oh, sorry about it, okay? So you know, I have it over here. So And this, level over here it's an eight okay this is where i end at section two at seven meters regarding this section so you already have that now let's just go with section three let's just see what it what it is well it is actually still still the 14x minus the 30x 
What I'm just trying to do is to see what type of curve will join section two with section three or the ending of section two with the ending of section three. Okay, so again, I see that this is a straight line with a negative slope. Therefore, it means that it begins at 48. What? What happens with that? Well, this thing is a, I mean, it shouldn't be here, but you got the picture, right? So this is a 48. It was at eight. Then it comes the couple, okay? This couple over here pushes you up, okay? 40. So this gap, this gap over here should be 40 kilonewton meter, okay? That's the couple doing its stuff. So you are here at 40A. Let me just, now we can do that because we already ended everything. So this is actually 40, okay? And now I'm just going to go from 40A till this point over there, which is zero, because that's what I actually got over here. This is what the computation is telling me, okay? So from here to there, sorry, 40, I'm gonna erase you a little bit, but this is the drawing of what is happening for the bending moment and the shear force, okay? So what can you imply of this regarding mechanical resistance of something? Well, look, I have, the biggest shear for that this beam is feeling or experimenting is right here, okay? It doesn't really matter the, the sign. It just means the other way around with the arrow of the shear force, but the magnitude 16 is bigger here. So you should check this section if you wanna know something about mechanical resistance. All this beam may be subject to a really hard shear force and maybe you don't know it, okay? But now you can actually compute that. You are experimenting from B to E, these six meters, the highest values of shear forces. Well, what about this from zero to four? Well, you are experimenting 14 uh, in magnitude of, for the shear force, 14 kilonewtons. Well, does that break the bar? We don't know. We don't know what this bar is made of, but you can actually get something, some, uh, um, sophisticated analysis later just by doing this first. Now, what about the bending moment? Well, what I can see here, if I uh, take into account these values, that the highest peak for the bending moment actually happens right here, right where this point force of 30 kilonewtons is acting, that was the biggest bending moment it's being felt in this beam. Okay, so that's what is actually happening. Hey, what about this couple? What this couple did to the beam? Well, what you can see over here is that for the bending moment inside the beam, you were going up to, to, to ramp up here, right? And then you went down to, 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 okay, so I went down. And what happened here with this couple? Somebody was just trying to turn it around with a screw or something, okay? That's, that is the mechanical um, effect on this beam over here. So I'm trying to turn around the beam from point D, okay? Right, turn it around to your right with your right hand to your right. So that's what actually, I, I, that is what it's actually doing. And then, so it pushes you up or at least it gives you a pump up in the bending moment that this thing is feeling, okay? So you were at eight at the bending moment, you end at eight. Then it comes this 40 kilonewton and you start to feel 40 kilonewtons more in that beam, in that part of the beam. So you can say, well, that maybe is dangerous. Well, we don't know because we don't know if this thing breaks or not, but you can actually start interpreting some of the results by doing this, okay? So this couple actually uh, puts you from eight to a level of eight kilonewton meter to a 48 kilonewton meter. So that thing, that's a thing that you need to consider later in some other analysis, okay? And then whatever is happening, it pushes you down till zero, okay? Because that's the behavior of the bending moment, okay? So just like little ramps, but then you have this big leap due to this loose couple over there, okay? Well, guys, you, we, uh, whatever comment you can do, or if you want to do more problems, just put it in the comments and we will, we can deal about it. Uh, cheers.